I just brought dad down some new ice. Fresh ice. Kind of like a needy patient. Like being a nurse to you is kind of... Hello and good morning everyone. Today is recovery day for Brandon. You can probably hear the ice machine. We've got ice running around the clock today so we can keep his leg iced about 20 minutes every hour they said. So we'll keep on that, keep refilling it, get him all taken care of. Drop in with him here in a little bit to let you all know how he's feeling and how he's doing. I think he's starting off today really good. He is downstairs editing and the one thing I wanted to tell you guys that's not in the vlog. I think I posted a picture on Insta stories last night. Basically the first thing he did whenever he got home was tell me that he needed his laptop because he needed to start editing. I was like Brandon, sweetheart, give it a break. But he says, no, this is going to be a huge vlog to edit. I've got to get it out. Late last night, he started working on the vlog and now he's working on it this morning. I think he's feeling pretty good though. I'm really happy. He slept great last night. I woke up at two in the morning. He wasn't in bed. And so I ran down the stairs to the basement. He was headed upstairs. It's a little late. You need your rest. So I helped him up the stairs, started a new workout. When we were in California, I was super, super impressed by Michelle from Dan and Shell. She worked out every single day. And I was like so impressed by her and I have been great at running. I love hiking, those kind of things. I'm not great at working out. I downloaded this same workout app that she uses and started that today. Hazy did it with me and it was tough. It was tougher than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to go get ready for the day. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. We're so grateful for all the get well wishes and all the love that you sent to Brandon and I yesterday. You guys are all incredible and we appreciate it. I just went and checked on Brandon. He's doing awesome. Like honestly, he hasn't even skipped a beat. It's like he's feeling fine. He's walking fine. He's doing awesome. We'll go down there in just a minute, but I wanted to show you what cute Hazy's doing. This morning, Ryler and I are filming a video. Now Hazy wants to do what we were doing, so she's going to do it and she is so excited. What are you going to do? I'm going to do straight lines and then dots. On a shirt. So I just did a video for bleach dyeing for Mindy's Best. It will be coming out Friday. So stay tuned for that. You now Hazy wants to turn. What do you want to tell me? Um, so I did my own hair. She did her own ponytail. Thing. You did, huh? Yeah. But before this, she came in with pigtails that she did herself. Uh -huh. So maybe you should show them that too. We'll do that after the shirt. And then, and then I took out my pigtails and then I did um, a ponytail. <laughs> so good. So proud of you. All right, let's show them what we're gonna do. All right, Hazy, it's time. I'm gonna let you get in the bathtub at the very end right there so you'll be able to reach. She found one of her favorite shirts by Stephen Cher that she wants to do. Okay, you can stand right there. We're gonna do it real quick, okay? I'm going to go ahead and spray this over. Yeah, just however you want to. <laughs> Good job. Gotta do the top. Good job, just like that. Me and Hazy are gonna sit here and do this fun little shirt for her. If you guys want to see the entire process from start to finish, wait till Friday. Check it out, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, what up? It's me, Rai Guy. And so, my dad had surgery yesterday. So, oh, hey, guys, by the way, we're going home because uh, daddy broke his leg and he's going to the hospital. If you didn't see that video, go check it out. It was awesome. He wanted some food. He wanted some breakfast. So right now I am gonna make him some toast. Just like, hey, I'll go make you some toast. So that's what we're gonna do. While I wait for that to be done, I am gonna cinch this bag up and put it in the pantry and then just wait for it to be done. Ooh, they're done. Toast is done. Let's just put it on here. Put some butter on it, and then we'll be good. There it is. I can't believe it's not butter. Toast is all done. Let's go bring it down to dad. Daddy, daddy, daddy. <laughs> what? This is better than breakfast in bed. This is breakfast in recovery bed. <laughs> dude, butter toast? That's about the only thing that sounds good right now. Thanks. Thank you, dude. Wow, you got this looking good. Yeah, we just got the vlog up. I was so bummed because I stayed up late last night working on it. And I was so excited because it was coming together so good. It's hilarious, you guys. Some it of the Anastasia so reactions funny. that mom caught. Hilarious. I uploaded it 90 minutes early just to make sure everything can get up and process because it's kind of a longer one. It's like a 31 minute vlog. It got stuck on YouTube's end processing for over like an hour. Yeah, like an hour and 40 minutes it was processing on YouTube's end. Oh so it went up God. a little bit late, but it's there. It's hilarious. Good. Right, guy, this is incredible. Thank you. Yeah. Love you, man. As you can see, haven't accomplished much as far as getting ready goes today, but we did get a spectacularly hilarious vlog up and posted. Mom knocked it out of the park. We we're talking about that, how she just left the camera running on the table because I definitely did not know anything was going on. Don't recall anything that I said. <laughs> So it was so fun to go back and relive those for the first time for me. I was there present, my mouth moving, but I didn't remember it until I saw it on video. Now that that is up, that's done, that's out of the way, I can mostly just sit around today, right? Leg up for today. Oh. I did remember they said something about like shoulder massages, foot rubs. It was like a weird document. I lost it. Yeah, but... we'll see if we can get something scheduled. <laughs> but in reality, I have to sit back, foot up, which I'm obviously not doing right now, but it's because I'm coming upstairs. I'm going to go ahead and get ready for the day, shower a little bit. In order to shower, a little accessory that I need this time. It's not often you go under the sink to grab a garbage bag prior to a shower, but that's what we're doing today. And I need this for the shower. It's kind of 
successfully made it up the stairs, no problems. Today, many of you have been asking how it's feeling, how it's going today. Definitely, I can tell this is going to be a quick recovery. For sure, still super stiff, sore in the spots where the bolts came out. Mindy had mentioned that's just some trauma to the body where you've had something inside your bone and it's yanked out of your bone. It's just going to be sore for a little bit. So the only direction I've really been given is to elevate my feet and ice them, just kind of chill for like two-ish days. We'll see how long that lasts. I'm already getting kind of bored. But in order to shower, I do have to put a plastic bag around. Can't take any of the coverings off. So if I want to shower, I've got to put a plastic covering around that, seal it up, take a quick shower, and get ready for the day. Just wrapped up the shower. I'm not gonna call it a total failure, but also not a complete success. Mom had me shower in the little kid's shower, and I can say that was probably a good idea because there were so many twists and turns and moves and one-footed spins to get the soap off of me that I made a little bit of a mess. If that would've been an open door in our shower, it would've been yes. pretty messy. But the reason I'm not calling it a total success is because I came out and my bandage, my foot like super wet. The actual foot part was wet. I don't know how, I had the plastic oh. bag around it. On the bandages, not too bad, not too bad. That's the uh, shower struggle, struggle shower life. Hey, struggle to speak. Yeah, that's three times Just another part of the post-op recovery here in the Bingham House. Household. Kids are out playing with friends, so that leaves the house kind of quiet for us. All I'm really doing is kicking my foot up today, you guys. Yeah, you need to just relax, get that foot up. I know, Your I... toes aren't swollen though, so that's good news. Oh, I do still have the Oompa Loompa paint job though. Notice that. Aren't Oompa Loompas purple, by the way? No. Purple? What Willy Wonka shows are you watching? Oh no, you're right. And like green hair or something, <laughs> right? Or no? The new one are with. Are you still? The new one with uh, Johnny Depp, is that? He wears a purple suit. Where did I get purple Oompa Loompas from? I don't know. Purple. I'm a little concerned. Are you <sighs> sure? <laughs> been fake falling all day. It's not funny. <laughs> she doesn't even react. She's like, well, oh, best of luck. Stand up. That's not true. No. I ran down the stairs at 2.40 in the morning Oh, guys. For you. Okay, sorry. We weren't going to talk about this all day, but this is so cute because I was downstairs editing last night and then I had a hard time falling asleep just because I'd been in a coma half the day. It was only out for like 20 minutes apparently, but <laughs> <laughs> felt like all day. I was up and I couldn't fall asleep and I was editing the vlog and it was going really good and it was having a ton of fun. So I came up to go to bed like two something and mom comes thundering down the stairs. I'm just like, oh my gosh, what happened? And I was like, are you okay? Everything okay? She's like, yeah, I thought I just heard you come up the stairs. I woke up and it was two and you weren't there and I, just, I had it to come see if you're Okay, you were still half asleep. Totally came downstairs to check on me because I, I hadn't come up yet. So then we went up to bed. And then we got to the bottom of the stairs. He's like, "Well, do you want to go first? And I was like, "No, I'll just catch your fall." In her sleep, that would have been fantastic to see her catch <laughs> my big old dead body weight back on oh her half gosh. asleep. Successful night, slept pretty good. Like I said, got up early again to finish the vlog and stuff. But it really feels great when it's up. And then when I'm I put tired. it down, the blood runs and it kind of hurts a little bit. But honestly, really feeling like today is like the only real recovery day. Tomorrow will be pretty chill. Hopefully, I mean, I feel like you're on the road to recovery right now. Mm. So lay back, kick your foot up. <sighs> And just do what you do best. So here is my little setup down here in the basement. This is where I'll be hanging out. The remainder of today, probably, maybe I'll go lay on the couch upstairs in a little bit. Believe it or not, I actually do get pretty stir crazy trying to sit still. Mom, as you guys know, Mindy loves to be productive in the sense that she likes to clean, get things organized, get things done. My inability to sit still is geared much more around being productive creatively, like creating something, thinking of ideas of new vlogs, shooting content, editing content. I just can't stand to sit still and not be making progress on something. That's what I'm doing here right now, working on some stuff, some future stuff, some potential Sunday bonus videos just something to be creating and working on while I'm down here foot up got the foot elevated a little bit more than last time see how long my attention span lasts sitting down here by myself we're gonna need to get the kids to come down here and hang out with me at some point dinner underway, I'm trying to use the things that we have in our freezer so they're not having to go buy more stuff. I feel like I have all the randoms left, like half of a package of meatballs, random stuff. So I thought, how can I make use of all that we have? We've been on vacation, we've been eating out a lot. I am excited to just make meals at home. So today we are gonna be doing meatballs, half a bag of meatballs that I had left over, plus a portion of another bag of meatballs that I had left over. Browned them up, put some brown gravy in them, cooked some rice, bam, dinner is done and it's amazing. I just have like extras in the freezer I'm trying to use. 
I just brought dad down some new ice. Fresh ice. Kind of like a needy patient. Like being a nurse to you is kind of. Just check the timestamp on that request for ice versus when I got oh, an hour ago. <laughs> Shut up, that's not true. Really have actually not been that great of a nurse to him today. But that is mostly because he's doing so well. I'm doing really good, guys. Kids played outside today. They spent the whole day yesterday with their grandparents. That was super fun. But they are upstairs now getting showers and getting ready for bed. Winding this amazing summer day down. You guys, it's funny because last week we were in like 60 degrees. This week it's been 90 degrees. Tomorrow is supposed to be even hotter than it was today and today was very hot. I'm gonna get these kids in and out of the bathtub, get them ready for bed. All right, Hazy, you're out of the bath? Yeah. Yeah, you're all squeaky clean now, huh? Yeah. Hazy put a bath bomb in the bathtub that she made the other day, huh? Yeah. We should probably make bath bombs and show all of our friends how to make it, right? Yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah. Did you have fun playing today? Yeah. Should we play in the pool tomorrow? Yeah. Okay, what do you tell our YouTube family? Thank you. Love them? We love them. You ready to brush your teeth? Brushy, brushy, brushy. Minty fresh. <laughs> Minty fresh, I think. <laughs> Ooh, look at that teeth. Ooh, there's some sugar bugs in there. Hey, Ooh. you ate way too much sugar today. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Hi, let's get in bed. Hazy loves her big girl bed, her big girl room. Probably the most exciting thing ever, huh? Mm -hmm. What do you tell everyone? Good night. Brandon and I made a deal. The little boys want to stay up later, and so they're going to stay up with Brandon for about 20 more minutes. I have to do nails tonight. I needed to get some of the kids to bed. One thing I was going to tell you guys that we do with our kids that's been super awesome is at night, we play a sound machine in their room. We even take it with us whenever we go on trips. That's always been something that we've done for our kids, so I just turned on Hazy's noise machine, got her to bed, and now the little boys are going to hang out with Brandon for just a little bit longer. I believe the last time you saw my rag, I he was making me breakfast. Is that yeah. the last time you were here? Because he made me a delicious two toast butter toast breakfast right here. And I gotta say, because I've already gotten a little bit of a head start on the vlog, I think what I liked even more than the breakfast in recovery bed is your insane ability to <laughs> capture toast making from like nine different angles. Is this kid a natural born vlogger or what? Dude? I got like a little stool. Just set it right there. You had mm -hmm. so many little elements of B roll just in you popping out some toast and bringing it down to your dad. You're a rock star on many levels. You look like you're sweating. What have you been doing? Oh, I'm sweating so much. We were just at this fun park hanging oh. out with my friends. Yeah. Very cool. Hey, well, it's pretty Lady, dude, kind of a fun later night for you. Yeah. Getting ready to get to bed. The other kids are already in bed. We've been trying this thing where Raga gets to stay out at least like 30 minutes later because he's been having the same bedtime as his four year old sister for his whole life. So we're trying as he's earned some additional responsibility and he's shown us that he can handle it and he's been incredibly, yeah. perfectly responsible with it. Always home on the dot, never participating in games that we wouldn't want him to. That kind of trust building, I just think, deserves to be rewarded. Added on with a little more responsibility, a little more trust. And we're very proud of this stuff. Thank you. Time for you though. Go shower, get in bed. Okay. And I'll come tuck you in. Okay. Okay. A few moments later. Came up here with Ragai. We are now in bed. He's checking out this new update to Minecraft. The nether update. Well, it looks pretty intense, dude. That was like a whole new game, possibly. You're just reading some of the patch notes, or whatever they call them. We decided we're just gonna shut it down from here in Ragai's room tonight, shut the vlog down. It's been an incredible day of resting and relaxation for me. Just had my feet up. I switched between a couple of levels. Didn't really go too far. And then I want Ragai to know how much I love him because I came up two flights of stairs from the basement to his room to tuck him in. Oh. That's love, bro. You know what? You had my back at breakfast. I got your back at bedtime. Thank you. <laughs> Speaking of like kids' responsibility and earning trust, we tried a new thing tonight with Crew and Brexton typically have kind of a longer lay down go to bed process. If you've seen any of our other nighttime routine videos, there's like a long process of mom lays with Hazy, I lay with the two middle boys, and then she comes in and relieves me, and then she lays in there until they fall asleep. Anyways, tonight we tried. You guys can stay up a little bit later, but then you have to put yourselves to bed. And they are already in there asleep, did it all on their own. Wow. Whole new bedtime routine going down here in the bingo house, guys. Thank you so much for everybody who's been messaging and checking up. I think a lot of people had fun watching me yes. coming out of anesthesia. I'm happy. <laughs> No. Oh, I thought you were gonna. Happy. <laughs> If you haven't seen it, go back and watch. I think tomorrow, I'm not sure, but I think mom has got, she's doing some nails downstairs right now, so we're just gonna close with me and I guy in here, but I think we've got a summer barbecue hall going down tomorrow. So we're gonna go buy a bunch of food, a bunch of fun mm -hmm. snacks for a barbecue, get into that summer groove, summer vibe. We had so much fun barbecuing by the pool when we were on our vacation in California. So we don't have the pool, but we do have the barbecue, so we can get that much of it going. Pool on the way, though. <laughs> Someday. All right, guys, we're gonna shut it down here. We love you guys, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.